Ooh, clap me. <laughs> Eat your finger. All right. Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of Bessie with Testies. This is Brayden, everyone, and his favorite movie is Showgirls. Oh. <laughs> This is Sam, everybody, and he eats his toenail clippings. I do. Good protein. Yeah. And, and this, this week's episode, episode is brought to you by the word... Dinner. Dinner. It's dinner time. Big announcement. We're, We're gay. gay. Yes. And uh, I came across a little quiz thing while scrolling through some social media thing. And Tumblr. I thought, yeah, of course. And I thought it'd be really fun to figure out which one of us is gayer. Hey. Hey. So we're gonna take a test that we found and see which one of us is the more homosexual. Let's start the homo festivities. Let's. Okay. First question is, are you gay? No, my boyfriend is. Yes, and proud of it. I'm experimenting, I suppose. Not as far as I know. Yes. Yes, and proud of it. Lady Gaga is a Madonna share wannabe, the new Madonna. Who? She's the new Madonna. Yeah. I like hot underwear. Don't care about my underwear. Something people tell me to wear. Hot underwear. What are we, 50? Yeah, I mean, doesn't anybody like hot underwear? Right? I meet new people largely on Grindr. <laughs> On Facebook, at bars, clubs, I don't like people. <laughs> on Facebook, that's creepy. Yeah. At bars and clubs, like you rarely go up to people and you're like, you don't talk hey, to you, over there. On Grinder. I mean, let's be real. What city would you love to live at? New York, New York, London, baby. <laughs> Wait, why does it say what you love to live at? <laughs> that's just weird, right? I think. <laughs> you don't say that. Who made love this to live quiz? In. I mean. I said New York? New York, I suppose. Have you ever had your eyebrows plucked, waxed, or in some other way modified? No. I yes, actually one have. time have had that happen. How many different perfumes do you have? I don't use perfume. Less than three. <laughs> How many pairs of shoes do you own? <laughs> one pair per season. Way too many. Do you see my shoes? I have a big shoe collection. Take some time and think about your friends. Who are they? Mostly straight girls, mostly straight guys, mostly gay guys. Mostly straight... I have mostly straight girls. Yeah, me too. You're like a... An... An anomaly. <laughs> an enema? Do you call me an enema? I'm Excuse saying me? an anomaly. You're not an enema. You might need to use one though once or twice. Finish the sentence. I kissed a boy and I... Liked it, loved it, couldn't get enough of it. I never did that, never. Uh, yeah, I loved it. Duh. Brayden couldn't get enough of it. I, that's what I wrote. <laughs> What's your favorite holiday? Christmas, New Year's Eve, Valentine's, or Halloween? Christmas, hands down. Halloween. Favorite cocktail? Cosmopolitan, rum and coke, gin and tonic. I don't drink cocktails. I don't drink rum and coke. Rum and coke. Find out. All right, here's the moment of truth. I'm gonna be extremely close. Oh my god. What's your percent? Okay. So... What's your percent? 71%. 68%. No! Once again, okay, so like there's like a 3% difference of gay homosexuality between us. But I think the big takeaway is Brayden is gayer than I and am. And the end question, it, this makes you close to discovering your true fabulousness. First of all, uh, people realize how homophobic these tests are. I would describe you as fabulous too. I would describe you as... <laughs> the devil. I a monster! Okay, so you cannot define your sexuality by a test or a quiz, but according to it, I am 3% gayer than this Nazi. <laughs> so, I guess I deserve a prize. Where's my gay prize? You got a dildo waiting for you on your own. We obviously can't use that. Oh, it makes me so angry. <laughs> Well, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let us know if you think the results were accurate, who you think is gayer. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you all next week. Be sure to subscribe and have a blessed week. Yes, have a fabulous week because <laughs> I'm so gay. <laughs> Bye. Okay, this is the very sad and tragic story of two grown men who tried to find an apartment.